Hey everybody, welcome back to my studio. I've got another product to show you today. It's the Visual Sound H2O Liquid Chorus and Echo. There it is there, rather handsome box. Uh, it's got a lot of features. Uh, the right side uh, features a, uh, uh, an echo that is actually a digital hybrid circuit. So you're getting a nice warm uh, analog echo with all the uh, vintage artifacts that you would love but uh, it's actually a digital hybrid in that uh, the guitar tone or the dry signal is never converted to digital. So that's a really cool feature on this pedal. On the uh, left side of the pedal, you've got the chorus vibrato side. Um, so you can choose between chorus and vibrato via a, a knob that sweeps all the way from one way to the other. You also have a tone knob that can brighten or darken the sound of the chorus or the tone of the chorus. You have a three-way intensity switch that allows you to basically just choose between three different intensities. So if you wanted to dial in uh, just a quick uh, chorus sound and then just wanted it to be slightly more intense without changing the knobs, you can just throw the switch and it'll get you there quickly. So it's a nice uh, tool for just kind of editing your sound. And it also has what's called a detune switch that allows you to uh, get really, really just wacky, really uh, highly modulated uh, effects. Um, it's set up with uh, the uh, pure tone buffer circuit uh, on both sides of the pedal. Uh, that can be turned on or off via internal uh, dip switches. And uh, the uh, outputs on the pedal, you can see there's quite a few ins and outs. It allows you to route the pedal to, to however you would desire. So if you just plug into the, the right side input and the, the left side uh, output number one, you're going to get in series right to left. So your chorus is going to be feeding your echo. But if you, uh, oh, I'm sorry, your echo would be feeding your chorus. But if you wanted to go the other way and you didn't want your echoes to be uh, chorused or modulated, you could plug into the chorus side first to the echo side and then out to your amp, which is a really nice feature. Or as always, uh, you know, uh, visual sound is, is, is great at this. You could make it to uh, completely uh, discrete uh, effects. Like if you, if you wanted to route into a, uh, a digital uh, switcher, which would be a, a really cool uh, thing to be able to do. It also has uh, their, what they're calling forever switches. Um, they've been tested to uh, 10 million stomps um, so they, they definitely uh, last forever. So yeah, it's a really well-built uh, box with a lot of great features. So without uh, further ado, let's check into it. It's the Visual Sound H2O Liquid Chorus and Echo. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to be using a uh, beautiful 1967 Fender Telecaster. This was uh, loaned to me by a very kind fellow. Um, I'm going to be using my, uh, my Sur uh, SH100. And uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and get started. I've, I've got a sound up that I really dig for uh, a lot of stuff that, that I do, especially uh, for sessions. It, it, I would say it's a more of a, an ethereal sound. Um, I'm saying ethereal because I, I don't want to say vibey because I hate that word. Anyways, uh, here, here's the sound. Um, I'm using both sides of uh, the, the processor, the H2. I'm using the, the delay on kind of a, a medium long delay and I'm using uh, kind of a medium bright, uh, kind of faster chorus sound. Thank you. 
So a cool effect, um, you can hear that the delay is, is really, really good at, at doing the, the feedback stuff. Uh, really easy to control, just like a, a great kind of old analog style uh, delay would be. Chorus is really lush and rich. So uh, let me just show you the, the dials really quick so you can kind of hear uh, what's going on. We'll just do the chorus side first. Okay, so it's set up, uh, as you can see right here, the tone is actually rolled all the way off, so it would be a darker chorus setting. So let's just go tone center real quick. Now we'll go tone all the way to the right. So you can hear how it, it brightens things up, um, and uh, that's a fabulous feature uh, in a chorus box. It's, it's definitely something I, I would prefer. And just real quick, let's just do the intensity switch so you guys can kind of get an idea what that's doing. I'll start it on the left with the same exact sound. Here it is in the center. You can see it's just a little more intense. Here it is all the way over. So that's a really nice feature if you've dialed in a chorus sound, but you, you don't necessarily uh, want to just be turning the knobs to try to get it a little more intense or a little less intense. That's a great feature. You've got your width and depth where you want it, but you're like, gosh, it just needs to be a little more intense. So it's a fabulous feature. So that's more like a Leslie effect. You can see that I, I basically, uh, I just darkened up the tone. Sped it up, gave it a little more depth, a little more width. And uh, you know, that's it's kind of a Tuichi's own uh, thing when it comes to dialing in uh, kind of a Leslie effect. That's what makes it so cool with this box. I love the fact too, that it has uh, the capability of, of giving you the, the width of, of your, your waveform as well as the depth. So it's a, quite a bit more tweakability. Most uh, chorus boxes don't give you the option of actually changing the width of the uh, waveform. So that's really, really cool. And just to uh, show you another feature real quick, it's, it's uh, on the chorus side, it's very capable of doing uh, highly modulated effects. And it's got a detune switch. And basically what it does is it just takes your guitar out of the signal. So that's really wacky, but you can dial that in, especially for kind of low baritone stuff. It's great for that kind of stuff. So that's it's a really nice feature just to have uh, should you choose to use it. On the delay side, oh, you know what I didn't show you, sorry, is uh, let's listen to the, the vibrato uh, uh, just really quick. Um, I actually have a setting I kind of put in. Okay, so we'll move it to the, uh, sorry, that's the tone. We'll move it to the vibrato side, or closer to the vibrato side. I'll just let you hear it real quick. Mm -hmm. 
So it's a great sounding vibrato circuit. <laughs> Vibrato. Or any anywhere in between. So this is kind of a cool sound. This is actually using a slapback on one side and the chorus on the other. Uh, it kind of brings up a, an old uh, police tune. Um. a little quicker. So that's like a really great effect. That's, you know, that's just kind of old school sound, but I love that stuff. Uh, the box sounds really, really big, uh, really spread out. Even for being in mono, it's, it's really great. Um, let's look at uh, the delay side, because even though it doesn't have uh, a ton of features, it's, it's still really great. Like, I, I love it as a slapback delay. For like a kind of almost uh, rockabilly, or I guess country rockabilly. Uh. stuff and then of course you can go into the longer delays you throw the switch to the right add the repeats So yeah, there's just a ton of features with uh, with this delay. Um, I tried to show in the in the performance side of it some of the stuff that I'm not showing you here, like how it sounds with like a drive box at the front end of the delay. It works great for that. Um, it's a great box, man. I'm, I'm not sure uh, what else I can show you because there's just so many features and so much you can do with it. Um, uh, if you've got any uh, sound or any questions about the, prod, uh, the product, uh, get a hold of Visual Sound. Go to visualsound.net and they can answer uh, any questions you might have about it. But yeah, it's, it's a really uh, fun product. Uh, it's a really great thing to have, uh, you know, just in your arsenal uh, of just mod effects. And what I love about it is, is there's so much in this little box, but it's not this expensive digital box. And you can really, really uh, get a lot out of it. So yeah, um, check it out at uh, visualsound.net. And as always, thanks so much uh, for stopping in and, uh, and checking out what I've got going. And we will see you in the next installment. Rock on. <laughs>